Next up in this onslaught of string functions is substring. So substring allows us to select individual parts or portions of a string. I only want the first character, I only want the middle 10 characters, or the last character, or so on. So the syntax is similar to concat. Uh, here's an example. In this case, we're not working with columns or tables or anything. We're just working with static data, hello world. And what this will do, select, so there's our select again, and then substring, our string function. In parentheses, in this example, the first thing we do is tell it, here's the string we want to work with. So that first thing is hello world. And then what we're going to do is only print out the substring, the portion, from 1 to 4. So those are indices referring to characters. And in MySQL, they start at 1. If you're familiar with other programming languages, they often start at 0. That's not the case here. So h is 1. So we go from 1 to 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, which gives us hell. I'm sorry, that is a bad word. Please don't be mad at me. So hello world 1 to 4 gives us that, but that's not the only way of using it. Here's another example. Select substring hello world, the same starting piece of data. And this time, all we give it is one number, one index 7. So if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, space is 6, 7 is that W. You might think it's only going to give us that W, but that's not true. It gives us from that W on to the end. So if you only pass in one number rather than two, it starts from whatever that index is and just goes to the end. So let's try a couple out. We'll do a select substring. And we'll just do the hello world example that we just saw. And we'll go from one to four. So we already know the answer here. Oh, there's hell. As you can see, one, two, three, four, we get hell. So if we change that from, let's do three to eight, we get low whirl. So that's one way of using it. And then the next way, as we saw, is if we just leave that second or that third argument off and we just say hello world comma three it will go from the third character so one two three to the end so we get low world or in the case that i showed if we do seven we get world and there's one more way that we can use it which is to actually give it a negative number negative index so what do you think will happen i give it negative three hello world well the answer is that we get RLD. So it starts from the end of the string and it goes from one or negative one, excuse me, to negative two to negative three and includes all of them. So RLD, if we try that, give negative three, you can see we get RLD. And if we did negative seven, it'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to this O and we get O world. So that's how we do it with just uh, static data. But now let's say we wanted to work with a column. So in our case, let's take the example of title. So let me just do a select star from, actually let's do select title from books. So we've got a, a variety of lengths of titles, right? Short ones like white noise, Coraline, long ones like what we talk about when we talk about love, stories. Let's say I wanted to just print out uh, I don't know, the first 10 characters of every title. Maybe, you know, you've probably seen that before when you're on a shop and if there's a long title, the whole thing isn't printed out. There's just, um, you know, a couple words and then dot, 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 or read more or something like that that you can click on. We'll do something similar. So to limit this, what we would do, let's just take this as an example. We can do a select substring. We'll give it the whole title. And then we only want from 0 to 10, or from 1 to 10, excuse me. We could do that. And this actually, here's another error that I considered editing out, but I've decided not to because it is worth taking a note of. The problem is that it thinks that I'm still in a quote because I have this opening quote and this closing quote, but in between I have another quote, which is actually an apostrophe in this case. So this is not going to work. If I do this, I'll just exit out, just ignore that. 
But I'll have to read you the whole line, and rather than using single quotes, I'll use double quotes like this. Where I'm calling from, selected stories, just like that. All right, and then I'll get rid of this other quote I put at the end. So that is important just to take note of when we're working with strings. If you have a quotation mark in there, you've got to work around it. All right, so I do this, and you can see it gives me where I'm. Yes, this is 10 characters maybe isn't long enough, but we're just going to work with that. So now to do it to every single title, it works just like we did with concat. We're going to do a select substring title comma one comma 10 from books. And that's it. And there we go. Now we have this ugly heading up here, so we could do an as again, as, and let's just say short title like that. Now we get this short title, blah, blah, blah. The name say Norse myth, American G, <laughs> um, a hologram. Some of these actually work. The circle, there we go. Just kid. All right. So one other thing I'll show you. There is a shortcut. It's a very small shortcut, but you can type substr, S-U-B-S-T-R. I don't use this um, all that often because I can really remember what the shortcut is because in some languages, there'll be substring where it's S-U-B-S-T. There's some I've seen where it's S-B-S-T. Like, it, it's just not clear which characters get cut out because it's not just all vowels because we have a U still. Anyway, so if you would like, you can use this. I can just show you if you replace that. If we do select substring and just change substring to be substr, it does the same exact thing. But what I also want to show you is that we can combine concat and substring or any of the string operators or the string functions you'll see. So let's say I wanted to add a dot, dot, dot after this so that it looks like this. Short title, the name say dot, dot, dot. Rather than just an abrupt cutoff, let's add a dot, dot, dot. So hopefully you can identify what we need to do is first chop our string, use a substring, one to 10, and then concatenate that with dot, dot, dot. So I'll do this in a separate file. I'll go ahead and make a new file. And I'll just call it something silly like bookcode.sql. So we know we're gonna do a select and there's going to be a concat in there. And what we're going to concat is the short title. So again, this is wrong, what I'm typing, but I just wanna put a placeholder. The short title with a dot, dot, dot from books. So this won't do anything right now. We need to replace this with how we actually achieve that short title. And that's gonna be with a substring. So in here, we type substring and we want to put title in there, oops, comma, and we want it to go from one to 10. So this looks like a lot, it's pretty ugly. Um, to format it a little nicer, we can do this. Depends on how intense you wanna be about it. I like to just do it like this here. So substring is our first argument, comma, dot, 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 is our second one from books. So if you look at it, you can see the order things are going to happen. So substring is going to happen first for every title. So that will be the name say or American G. And that will be concatenated with dot, dot, dot. And that will run for every single book in our database from books. So if we save that, we could either source the file or just copy and paste it. So let's do that now. We'll do source book code.sql. And there we go. The names say dot, 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 Norris Smith, dot, 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 American G, dot, dot, dot. But you see we get this really hideous title up here. So let's put in as, we'll call it as um, short title. Save again, rerun it. Now we get this, much, much nicer. Short title, the names say dot, 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 and so on. All right, so that's what all there is to substring. Uh, but the tricky thing, in my opinion, is just knowing that you can combine them. So it takes a little bit of getting used to, but the, again, the way it works is whatever is on the inside first will be evaluated. So substring will happen first. 
and then that will be concatenated with this. So that's it. We have a couple more and then we'll do some challenges.